This is uh, Tim with uh, Happy Trails and my new friend Sam, uh, who's from Hawaii. And uh, Sam called me a couple months ago and was talking about uh, ordering a 2022 KLR and ordering some parts. And in our conversation, uh, we found out that uh, we had something really in common, which is we both have had heart issues and we both pack uh, uh, nitroglycerin, so we're part of the proud and the few nitro riders. And so this is our uh, uh, sort of a special bond we have with us. We normally don't dress people's bikes out, but Sam uh, coming from Hawaii to buy a bike in Eugene, Oregon, and then breaking it in and coming to Boise, I said, well, why don't we make this uh, an adventure? Uh, for all of us and uh, we'll get to know each other and uh, we'll go from there. Sam, what are your comments? Um, I just really want to thank uh, Tim and Casey here um, for um, befriending me. And um, when I called Tim, uh, as he said, we had a, we had a great conversation and uh, both had realized we'd been down the same path on some health issues. And so we uh, we hit it off like uh, two peas in a pod, and he invited me to come out to uh, Boise to fit the bike uh, with some aftermarket uh, aftermarket gear. And um, so I flew over from Hawaii, stayed in Eugene for about a week, um, run over the Willamette Pass in the snow and the rain. <laughs> Yeah. Um, came across Eastern Oregon in the wind, but now I'm here in uh, Boise at Tim's place and a uh, very warm welcome and very much appreciative of this. Thank you, Jim. So uh, today we're going to uh, do a, a makeover on this KLR uh, and uh, we'll take you through the different steps uh, uh, as we go through. All right, so we're going to get started on this build here. So we're going to do uh, engine guards, both uppers and lowers, and then we're going to do a skid plate. And then we're also going to do some racks back here with some Denali cliff cuts. So we're going to start with the skid plate and uh, take that off. And then uh, we're going to drain the oil and, and uh, put some fresh oil in there while we have access to everything. So we'll start there. All right, so we got the factory skid plate off here. Uh, we're just going to drain the oil out of this bike and then put some fresh in and uh, we discovered as well, I'll just mention it, if anyone is uh, going to run the lowers, um, our lowers, which you can see right here, uh, will not work with the factory uh, skid plate. So that has to be uh, swapped out with one of ours or one that's compatible. We've got the um, oil changed. So next we're going to work on uh, get this center stand on. So we've got the, the pegs off the bike. And uh, these are going to go on right in place of that. So we had a little bit of shavings on this bike. This is a 500 mile oil change. Uh, but really not too much. This is not um, any more than I've seen anywhere else so this is this is uh, really pretty ideal I think all right so your base model once you get this plastic cover off is going to have some hardware right here and that's going to be uh, the bolt that we use for the upper so this really isn't a install video of any kind we're just kind of showing you what we're doing on this bike so we've got the SU racks on here we're ready for panniers. These are all tightened down. Super simple. One, two, uh, three bolts. And then um, we've got the uppers kind of in place. We've got the skid plate just hanging there by the U-bolt in the front. And then we've got the lower sitting down there. So we're going to put the lower on. Just get everything on so that it's loose. And then, um, uh, then we'll be able to cinch everything down once we have all the bolts in place so we'll go ahead and do that next and then uh, we'll hang hang some panniers after that all right so we got this 2022 KLR 650 
base model in the orange all set to go um, and uh, so we've got the uppers on we've got the lowers on with the highway pegs uh, happy trails skid plate and then we've got uh, the center stand on down there and then we've got a set of SU racks with the Denali cliff cut panniers so this bike is set for long distance and you say you're going to you're gonna are you gonna do the Alaska I'm, I think I'm gonna do Alaska yeah okay yeah it's Alaska ready man it is Alaska ready <laughs> for sure yeah this thing is set up thank you guys yeah thank you guys so much I, I really appreciate it as we say in Honolulu or Hawaii uh, mahalo mahalo yeah you're very welcome it was our pleasure uh, so this is um, that's it for this build and uh, yeah happy trails to you <laughs> and we'll see you guys on the next one